Hi, so in this video we're going to start talking about the volume of a cylinder. Now if you go to mathsrap.co.uk that will give you quite a lot of examples of where you can find cylinders. Um, actually there's quite a few around us most of the time. This is, this is a cylinder um, and it's my pen uh, and it's this, this item here which is the body of the pen. Or I can go to my, my kitchen cupboard and I can pull out a tin of tomatoes um, and this is a cylinder. Or I can get, uh, what's that, a, a gas refill. So there's plenty of different cylinders that you'll see around most of the time. And it's very important that we work out the volume of cylinders so we know how much, um, in this particular case, tomatoes we can put inside this can. And the way that we do that is to multiply the area of the circle at the top because all cylinders are the same. They all have circles at the top of them and we're going to multiply that by the height. Okay, so I'm going to put a quick drawing up on the board um, and this is an exam question probably round about, um, about three marks usually, round about level C. Uh, GCSE. And this particular question uh, is a cylinder and it has a radius of three centimeters and it has a height of four centimeters. So I guess it's not unlike my, my can here. Um, the, the circle at the top is um, probably round about three centimetres radius, maybe a little bit more, and the height of it is probably a little bit more than four centimetres. Four centimetres would be up to something like that. But it's not unlike this kind of product. Um, so what we're going to do is work out the volume. Now, when we're working out the volume of anything, whether it's a cylinder or a prism, which is a, a three-dimensional object, um, what we do is we multiply the area times the height. Okay, so what we're going to do is firstly look at the area of the bit at the top, the circle at the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just draw that to one side as a circle. And this bit here is, is the bit that's sitting there. And it has a radius of three centimetres. Okay, so to work out the area of a circle, the formula that we use is pi r squared. And I'm just going to put that equals area. Okay, now pi is usually given to you on an exam paper. Uh, this is a couple of different values that is given. They all amount to pretty much the same thing. But if you have a look on MathsRap, there's, uh, there's a section that talks about pi and what pi means and where it comes from. Um, the value that's normally given is 3.142. So I'm going to write this to the side here. It could equal 3.142. And the number actually goes on for a long, long way after 3.142. Um, other values that sometimes are given would be uh, 22 over 7, sometimes it's given as 3.14, but generally speaking the values of pi will be given to you in the exam question or on the paper. So the other thing you need to know for to work out the area of the circle is the radius. Well in this particular question it's been given to us as 3 centimetres, um, sometimes they might give you a diameter of say 8 centimetres, in which case the radius is 4 centimetres. So just be very careful about working out the radius. Uh, you need to be quite accurate with that. Um, okay, so area first is going to be pi r squared. And then the height, which we know is here, is 4 centimetres. So that's relatively straightforward and I'm just going to put it down as H. Okay, just as a little tip here, you need to make sure always that the units that you're multiplying together are the same. So in this, this case, centimetres and centimetres is perfectly fine. 
Sometimes occasional questions you might get this as millimetres and you have to convert it or it might be a much much larger cylinder uh, maybe given as metres or something like that. Okay so just be a little bit careful with making sure that you're multiplying the correct units together. So let's put in some numbers. Um, pi we've got is, um, I think we'll use 3.142 142, okay, and R, which we know is the radius of 3 centimetres, so I'm going to say multiplied by 3. Now the thing to be very careful of also is that this is radius squared, so it means radius times radius, so it means 3 times 3. Okay, if you prefer, you could write it as 3.142 times 3 squared, just to remind yourself that you're multiplying by the same number again. Okay, the other number that we need is the height, which we know is 4 centimetres, so multiplied by 4 or multiplied by 4, however, whichever way you write it is perfectly fine. Okay, so what we've achieved here is um, the calculation for working out the volume of the cylinder. So we've got the area of the circle at the top, and there it is, and we're going to multiply it by the height. Okay, and in this particular case it's 4 centimetres. So if we put that into a calculator, I'm just going to have to refer to my notes. If we put that into a calculator, it comes out as 113.112. Uh, Alright, now where it could change very slightly, is with different values of pi. So if you use the pi value that's in your calculator, that will be about 10 decimal places. So what you'll see is a slightly different difference in this calculation here. But generally speaking, we're working to three decimal places, so it's, it's quite accurate for a calculation like this. Although in some calculations, it does need to be really very accurate. Okay, so, um, in answer to the question, I'm going to say that it's 113 um, centimetres cubed, and that's to uh, three significant figures. Okay, so the value of this calculation is 113 centimetres cubed. It is very important also to make sure that you put in the units of measurement. Now, as we said before, we're multiplying centimetres by centimetres, but bearing in mind that when you work out the value of the area, the value of the area is going to be um, centimetres squared. Okay, so providing you've got your units correct, then it'll, it'll work out as centimetres squared. You're multiplying that by another centimetre value, so which is here or here, so that's going to give you centimetres cubed. Okay, um, I hope that's okay. If you go to matterapp.co.uk, you can have a look. Uh, there are other examples there. Also, you can uh, download a worksheet to have a go at for yourself. Um, please do post, tweet, embed, subscribe to the site, or you can go to Matterapp and we'll email you whenever I post uh, something new on the site. Um, I hope that's been useful. Please do add a comment below and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.